So this is about my 17th time recording this video, so I'll try and get it right this time. Um, this is going to be a demonstration of how to use traffic as an ingress controller on a local Kubernetes cluster using Minikube. Um, I have a use case that I think traffic will be uh, excellent for as an ingress controller, um, but in terms of getting it set up, testing the configuration, that kind of stuff, I don't want to do that on a uh, cloud environment like um, um, AWS because that will incur costs. I want to do that locally. If you install an ingress controller on a cloud Kubernetes cluster, it will automatically deploy a cloud load balancer and you will get an external IP. Uh, you can then connect in and sort of test out your, um, your ingress control. You can test and see it all working. If you install an ingress controller on a local Kubernetes setup like Minikube or Kind or Microcates or whatever, you will not get a cloud load balancer because you're not running it in the cloud. Don't get a load balancer, you don't get an external IP, you can't connect into it, so you need to use port forwarding to connect in. It took me a while to work out how to connect to that ingress controller because I'm not that good with Kubernetes. Um, so this is as much uh, a kind of a um, trying to help me kind of cement this in my mind and give me something to refer back to and hopefully it kind of helps someone else as well if, if, if they need this. Um, so before I do anything else, let me get the Minikube uh, set up going. Uh, so we'll set up a new uh, uh, sort of fresh Minikube setup and I'll quickly show you what it is that I'm going to uh, set up. Let's just show you, not, nothing there. So I'm going to go to, um, set up a basic deployment that's going to create three pods and they're going to contain uh, just a demo Nginx application. Don't get confused with Nginx as, a, as an English controller. We're not using Nginx as an English controller, we're just using it as the demo app. Um, we're using traffic as the English controller, Nginx as the demo app. So don't get those two confused. Um, so I'm going to set up that demo app. Um, we're going to create a service that sits in front of that deployment. Um, it's going to again, it's going to be pretty much the same as the kind of bog standard uh, Kubernetes docs. I'm going to tweak it a little bit so it matches up to my deployment. Once that's done, uh, I'm going to port forward into that, demonstrate that that works. We're then going to install traffic. Um, uh, we're going to use a Helm chart for that. Uh, Kubernetes doesn't come with an ingress controller by default. It comes with other controllers like deployment controllers and those kinds of things. It doesn't come with an ingress controller, so you select the one you want to use. You can use things like um, an Nginx in, in, um, ingress controller or traffic. I'm using traffic, so we use Helm chart to do that. That will give us the controller. It won't give us any configuration. It won't give us anything to do with our applications. Uh, once that's installed, I can port forward to the uh, traffic dashboard and demonstrate that that works. I can also port forward to the uh, the web ingress port and demonstrate that that also works and at that point it won't be doing anything because we've not added any configuration in there. Once that's done, I will then kind of create um, an ingress definition. Uh, again, that's just a, it's a Kubernetes kind of uh, CRD. Um, uh, so we'll just, we'll create that ingress. That will sort of show some kind of basic stuff. It's gonna look very similar to this. Um, and that will then connect our ingress controller to our demo application and we can demonstrate that that works. And then lastly, what I'll do is just show a little bit of kind of sugar on top of that that shows a little bit about how traffic can do kind of path manipulation. So let's get started. Minikube is already kind of running. Uh, so here's our deployment. As mentioned, I've got, so I've got two, two kind of uh, manifests in one file here. There's my deployment creating three pods uh, using the Nginx uh, image. I've then got a service that sits in front of that called Nginx service. It's selecting on the Nginx app so it'll match up with this and it's targeting in port 80. So let's do k get pods and we'll show there are no pods there at the moment and we'll show there are no, there is only one service which is the Kubernetes service. So we'll do k apply dash f and the deployment. So that's now deployed the uh, Nginx uh, deployment, which will be creating the three pods, and we've got the um, uh, Nginx service being created there. So we can show that our pods are being uh, created there, three of them, and we can show that the service already exists, and it's running on, it's, and it's listening on port 80. If we go and look at our pods again, we'll see the pods are now running. So that's all good. We can now port forward to that Nginx service. I'm going to use port 40,000 as my external port. Again, we're targeting port 80, which is where um, the Nginx service is running. So I can run that. You can see that's now appears to be set up correctly. So if I go to here, 
and I connect to that, we can see we get the, uh, the Welcome to Nginx homepage. So this has got nothing to do with the Ingress Control at the moment. This is just a deployment and a service. That's giving us the Nginx uh, setup. If I can't just to prove that it works, if I cancel that and go back to here, we've got nothing there. Go back and run the port forwarding, go back to here, run that, we're back in again. So that's it, that's uh, Nginx. So that's the kind of uh, simple way of running a service there. But I want to be able to configure the, uh, and, and play about with the Ingress controller, which will allow me to use uh, a single um, a single IP, single ports, and map things based on paths or host names. Um, so, what I need to do for that is install traffic. So we're going to come over uh, here. We're going to go to the traffic installation. I've already added the uh, traffic helm chart, and I've already run the um, update as well. So all I need to do is install traffic. So we'll go over here and we'll run that. That will just whiz through and start setting up. You can see it's kind of created a name. No, it hasn't created a namespace. It's put it into the default namespace. If I go K okay, get pods again, we'll see that we now have a traffic pod. If I do K okay, get service, we've got a traffic service there that's running. Um, so what I can do now is do K describe pod, and I can take the name of the traffic pod, not the traffic service, the traffic pod. If I do that, and I scroll back up and look at all this information, so we've got various information about the pod here. Um, the thing which I'm interested in is the args. So the args is the configuration that's sent to it, which presumably is coming from the Helm chart and stuff, but there's there's some I, some port numbers in here which are, which are useful. So we've got our entry points. Metrics entry point is 9,100. The traffic address is 9,000, which is the dashboard address. Uh, the web address, which is basically HTTP traffic, is going in on port 80,000. And the web secure address, which is your HTTPS traffic, is going in on port 8443. So you notice obviously the insecure traffic would well, normally, that's port 80, and that's port 443. And so we've just got 80,000 and 8443 here uh, instead. So what I can do now is do K, port forward, and I can do, I can go to the pod, um, uh, and I need the name of that pod again, what's the pod called? That's my pod, I come down here, and I can add that in there, I need to get rid of that space, and I can do, let's do, uh, what am I gonna do here, I'll do, I'm gonna do 9001, and target port 9000, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. Uh, so, that's now that should give us the uh, a view on the dashboard. So if I go there and go 9001. Um, ah, so this was one of the things I found earlier. I got confused why I couldn't see the dashboard. You can't see the dashboard because the dashboard doesn't run on the root. It runs on dashboard slash, not dashboard, dashboard slash. So we can see there uh, that it tells us a bit about kind of routers that are configured, services, middlewares, all that kind of stuff. Um, we can see we've got these five services set up. There's a few kind of issues I have here with kind of things, uh, um, connections being reset and stuff, but um, I don't think that's not particularly kind of relevant to this sort of setup here. It's just a few issues I'm having kind of locally, but you go into here and you can see all stuff like, yeah, what's running and what have you. So if I go back to here, you can see that. Remember they've got three routers, five services, and zero middlewares. So if I come back, go to a new terminal here, and I'll do the same thing again, but I'm going to this time do 8001 to port 8000. This is our, um, this is the web, the insecure, this is basically the HTTP traffic to the ingress controller. So if I go back to here, I'm gonna change that port there to 8001, and we're gonna see 404 page not found. So this is traffic telling us 404 page not found. We can prove that, because if I cancel that, go back to here, we're gonna see, can't connect. Go back to here, reload that, 404, page not found. So, traffic is installed, but there's nothing There's nothing for it to kind of root to. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna set up this thing here. So, I've got my Ingress YAML here, which is basically the same as, same as uh, the one over here, but it's just a little bit simpler. I've got one path, there's no host names being defined. I'm just uh, doing, um, ingress routing based on path. Um, and I'll, what I'll do for the start off is I'll take that out. So we're just gonna map the root path 
uh, and it's going to just map that one exactly and we're going to forward it to the nginx service on port 80 which is where the nginx service runs uh, where we were connecting to earlier um, this is uh, an in, um, ingress uh, um, definition part of the kind of kubernetes api um, that's what we're going to apply so if i come to here and i now go ok apply dash f ingress dot, dot yaml that gets applied and we should find now, if I go back to here and refresh that, we get welcome to Nginx. So we've now told um, uh, the told traffic to basically, so we've now connected effectively traffic to our demo application. So now when we try and route to that, we get through because we're connecting on the route, we're, you know, we're not providing any other paths. So it's, ma it's matching and it's going through. If I do K delete uh, F ingress, uh, we can see that that uh, gets deleted. And if we come back to here, we're back to our 404, just to demonstrate that it is that file that's that's doing it. Uh, so if I change that there, now what I can do is do nginx, if I want to kind of uh, route on a specific path, and I do say nginx test here, um, so I don't want to route, I don't want to match on the on the the uh, the slash name on the route. I want to kind of do a sub a sub path. You can imagine you could have multiple paths here, all routing to different kind of applications, which is one of the things that I want to do. Um, uh, so we can we can match that. And if I apply that, that that will update the uh, um, ingress test uh, uh, nginx in, um, nginx ingress test entry there. If I now go back to here and refresh. That we're going to see 404 not found again because we're now still asking for the slash and we've just defined, we've just changed the definition of the ingress. But if I do nginx test here, we'll now see we get to an nginx page. So we're still getting a 404, but this is being served by nginx, not by traffic. So we know we're hitting the demo application, we're just hitting it on a path because this path is being forwarded to uh, the nginx demo application and it doesn't, and there's nothing. Uh, Nothing, there's, you know, there's nothing on, on that application you know, you know, matching that path, so it kind of you know, returns 404. So that's that's basically kind of what, more or less the whole the whole setup. The, the last thing I want to show is how we can make uh, a public nginx test path map to the root path on my nginx demo application. Uh, so we'll do that now. So we'll delete that YAML file there. This is just a, um, a slight variation on this ingress file here. But what I've got is a middleware setup which strips the prefix off of a path. So basically, this will apply to any route that that that, um, that this middleware is kind of specified to apply to. Um, uh, and down here, we've then got uh, the same uh, ingress that we had before, but now we've got this annotation on it that's defining uh, that it wants to apply this middleware. So it's the default namespace. This is the name of the uh, middleware, uh, and just got a little bit of boilerplate there. Um, undo that. I don't mean to do that. A little bit of boilerplate, and then that will tell that middleware to apply to this. Um, so if we now do that, k okay, apply dash f ingress with path, um, and then we go back to here. Now, when we refresh that, we'll see we get to the home page because now uh, that path there is being stripped during yeah, the point where it gets forwarded on, onto the Nginx demo app. So as far as the Nginx demo app is concerned, it thinks the root URL is being requested. Um, that's it. That's the end of the test, all set up. I'll post some links to kind of like what's got what's set up here. I might, I'll stick these things in a, in a, in a Git repo so you can uh, see that. That's it, I hope that's been useful.